We are not here to give grace. We are here to focus on behavior. And on those behaviors, we're looking at Fannie Willis behavior versus the predecessor behavior. But before we go into those behaviors, there's something that we want to express to our audience. There was a Barry Goldwater rule, and that rule is an ethical guideline for mental health professionals that is part of the American Psychiatric Association Principles of Medical Ethics. It states that it is unethical for a psychiatrist to offer professional opinion about a public figure without conducting an examination and having consent to do so. This rule was created in response to a controversy in which a magazine published a survey of psych psychiatrists who had not personally examined Senator Barry Goldwater and speculated about his mental health. The rule is intended to uphold the professionalism and integrity of the psychiatric profession. Now, Fondell, how do you think that rule has been affected today? Well, what has been affected is really a protective it's really a protection racket to not hold the uh, politicians accountable, the corp the Republicans and corporate Democrats accountable for their bad behavior. And Kenny, what do you think uh, the rule does? Basically, it is it's a shield because all it does is it protects the uh, predecessor from being evaluated. Okay, it protects the prede predecessor. Okay, so now we're going to get into the checklist. Which person shows this particular behavior on the checklist? They achieve more than most people in their age. That would be the predecessor, easily. Who do you think, Kenny? The predecessor. Okay. They firmly convinced that they are better and smarter or talented than others. That will be the predecessor. Kenny? The predecessor. Uh, they love competition and hate to lose. That will be the predecessor. And who do you think, Kenny? Definitely the predecessor. Fantasies of greatness, of being famous. They live as if their fantasy has come true. Kenny, who would that be? The predecessor. That will also be the predecessor. Okay. So right now, the predecessor is in the lead. They have little interest in other people, feeling, needs, or thoughts, unless they can get something out of the person. That will be the predecessor. Predecessor. All right. Now, this person is a name dropper. Predecessor. Predecessor. Okay. They live around the right people and they have to live in the right place. They're status seekers. Kenny? The predecessor. Predecessor. So the predecessor is winning very strong in this race. They take advantage of people to achieve their own goals. That's the predecessor easily. Predecessor, hands down. So... We don't live in Atlanta, so we're not familiar with Fonnie Willis. And I can't really say whether she has shown any of this behavior, but we have seen this behavior consistently in the predecessor. Yes. All right. So persons uh, usually manage to be in a category by themselves. The predecessor. The predecessor. The predecessor. Oh, okay. So he's running his own ship. He's a, he's a star in his own ghetto, I guess. Yep. Okay. Get, get off of it. Okay. It's a burden for the person to take on responsibility of family, friends, and co-workers. That's the predecessor. That's the predecessor. So whatever happens in his family, he doesn't really want to... He doesn't want to take care of the family. He cut him out the will. Wow. Basically, no sympathy, empathy, or compassion because he's all about themselves. This person disregards rules and expects them to be changed because they are special. That's the predecessor easily. The predecessor. And what makes them think they're special, Woot? They can hold up the court system for a long, long time. Delay, delay, delay. So who put them into action? Who put these people in place? Was it the predecessor or was it Bonnie Willis? That would be the predecessor easily. The predecessor put them in place. So one of the things that we're listing here is behaviors that have been consistently seen across the board over and over and over again, regardless of the Barry Goldwater rule. And it's very, it's, the behavior is intentional. And if you want to fact check it, please fact check Barry Goldwater rule. This person becomes irritated when people don't automatically do what he or she wants them to do, even if the action is wrong. 
That would be the predecessor easily. The predecessor. So you mean to tell me if you've done something wrong, they still want you to do what they want you to do, regardless of the consequences? Yep, regardless of the consequences, whether it gets you in prison, like Michael Cohen. Oh. And, and plus, the, the predecessor... You can't hold them accountability because they would not take responsibility or accountability. They're called self-entitled. Okay. So consistent across the board, we have seen this uh, behavior play out. And as yet, we have not really, Fanny looked like she's losing this on the checklist, but that may be good for Fanny. All right. They review people, uh, they review topics like, sports, arts, politics, uh, literature, by saying if they if they was doing or trying to solve that problem, this is what they would have done. Yeah, that is the predecessor. And the predecessor also said, I alone can fix this. Oh. But let, let alone, they cannot fix their own problems within the legal system. So have we seen Fonnie Willis show any of this behavior? No, no, we have not. Not in Atlanta. Not in Fulton County, Atlanta. No, we have not. Okay. Even though we don't live there and we're not familiar with Fonnie Willis? Or the laws in Atlanta. Okay. When people criticize them, they think that everybody is jealous of them They're, and that, that people are motivated by jealousy. Who is that? That would be the predecessor very easily. It's a witch hunt. Oh. So have we heard Bonnie Willis speak of anything of being a witch hunt? No, we or, have not. Or being the victim. Oh, they're picking on me. They're targeting me. All about me. So if you don't worship them, they view it as rejection. That That is the predecessor yeah, easily. Okay. Can you give me an example, uh, Kenny, about the rejection? If you don't give them praise or acknowledgement, they will shut down. So you just got to go to church and they the church and you got to worship them. Yep. You got to worship them. Okay. They don't recognize their mistakes. If they recognize their mistakes, which is rare, a major depression sits in. That's the predecessor easily as well. He denies his mistakes. He denies his mistake. What do you think, Kenny? That's the predecessor. And when he denies his, escape, uh, his mistakes, he has to scapegoat. He has a scapegoat? Yeah. Put the blame on someone else. And who was the blame put on, the first blame put on? Uh, the first blame was on Michael Cohen. The second blame wa was Alan Weissenberg, the CFO. Oh. The third blame was his children. Was his children. And if. Oh, the fourth if, blame was the cabinet. Okay. And if this, this behavior that has been seen across the board uh, consistently goes on, then basically the predecessor who will run the nation and and have control over the military will do what what will happen it will be concentration camps it will be martial law it's going to be kind of like um the, the Pontius Pilate effect my hands is washed from sin okay so have is Fanny Willis gonna come in and no she's not gonna come in and do that that's impossible and plus Fanny Willis um didn't hide any documents okay didn't hide no documents Okay, they think that, uh, they explain, even if a person is better than them, they're going to explain that the person is not so great. That will be the predecessor. Okay. So, Kenny, what do you think? It's the predecessor. The sad thing about the predecessor, no morals or compass whatsoever. Okay. And so, they basically kind of want what they want everything that that person has everything but they cannot give that person the credit for it right they can't give the person or, the credit. or they take the credit um from their um uh, predecessor who preceded before them and so like i said i don't know bonnie willis mm -mm. i don't know what her behavior would be in uh in fulton county or atlanta georgia but if mm. If she's on trial for making the mistake she has, has this behavior been seen consistently in Fonnie Willis across the board in Atlanta? That's my question. The answer is no. Everyone makes bad judgments and everyone can cor uh, correct bad judgments. But the predecessor 
keep over and over and over again, we will going to stop. Because since no one's held him accountable, or he's not taking self-accountability, he's going to keep making these uh, intentional behaviors. So who has complained of being mistreated or misunderstood? That's the predecessor. And what he's complained about? Can you I mean, he complains, he complains about, this is a witch hunt, about with his taxes and things like that. With his taxes? And the media hunt? persecuting him and persecuting the people. Yeah, oh. persecuting me. So what have we heard Bonnie Willis complain about? She hasn't complained about nothing. I haven't heard anything about Bonnie Willis complaining to the media about anything. So Bonnie Willis is basically defending her what, Kenny? And her integrity. And, and, and her more compass, which the predecessor have zip, zero, nada. So everything that Bonnie Willis has done for us integrity-wise up until this point, you know, has been what? In question, but why? Okay. Because if, if the predecessor is on trial, then why Fonnie is being put on trial for one bad judgment? Okay. So Fonnie didn't go out there and grab nobody and talk about it where you could hear it. Right. What else, Fonnie, you don't think Fonnie would do? I mean, Fonnie Willis would never brag about, lie about his money. Okay. Uh, she, I, I don't know for us lying about money because money. Did. I'm, out, I'm, I'm the richest person. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I say I'm the richest person. Okay, because we haven't heard. Now we heard things about what she might have done with her money. Yeah, but we never heard her brag about her money. Or, no, she, or 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 inflate her access. Or or yeah, or inflate access or cheat. Okay. People either love or hate them. Right now, Fannie Willis is getting a lot of heat for that one. For that one. And it's not a lot of people basically, you know, on her side. And we're not taking sides because when we said in the beginning, we're not here to give grace. But what we are here to do is to have people think about this checklist and think about the behaviors that has been displayed openly to the world. And if Fannie Willis had certain behaviors, what, what, uh, we haven't, I, I haven't seen, uh, this is my first time ever hearing of Fannie Willis. I would probably have never The last known. time we heard about Fannie Willis was she was on the Rico case on Young Thug. Okay. And that was, that was when that first came out. That was when the first came out. So her behavior has not been displayed all over the world. No, it has not. And so we're persecuting a person that has made a mistake. A life over, lesson. Yeah, a life lesson. And we're persecuting them over and over and over again because of what? So the question being, so who's on trial? Or is intentional behavior on trial or unintentional behavior on trial? Because what I see here, Bunny Willis. That's poor, unintentional poor, behavior. Poor judgment. We all make poor judgment. Her, her decision was unintentional. But the predecessor, over and over and over again, um, the gag the gag order kept violating the gag order, um, kept putting fear into the um the, uh, the court staff. Okay. And now using us that same tactic to what? To get her off of the case and to delay all cases Across the board. Obstruction yeah. of justice across the board. That's all it is. Have, did Fannie Willis try to do any of this in her cases? No, she has not been. No, absolutely not. No oh. evidence of doing that. No proof. Because we, we haven't heard, taking it to the uh, appellate court, and we haven't heard her say, oh, I'm going to take this to the Supreme Court and see what they say. Okay. And, and even though that uh, this particular... These particular behaviors are on this checklist. Uh, the person either suffer from high self they they don't suffer from high self esteem or low self esteem because it's not about self esteem because they are legend in their own mind. They've yeah. already built their case in their mind who they are, so they don't really need you to to say you know about their self-esteem because that exists. Their conversation is internal, not external. 
You're just out there. They don't need you to boost their self-esteem. That's where people get tricked. They, it's just like a shark. A shark doesn't have to explain that he needs water, nor does this particular uh, type of narcissistic behavior that we see and play out in the uh, in in the world now needs to be explained. That I really need you, people, because they don't. They're there. You're there to to do their bidding, which is on demand. They demand you to do many things for them. You are their supply, and when the supply comes out, when they get through using the supply, it's a, and you serve your purpose. You serve your purpose, and you go to the next supply. Now, here's the thing about this: they uh, they're uh, self-absorbed. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing about the supply: um, what happened in January 6th? A whole bunch of people went to jail for doing the predecessor's bidding, and he didn't he didn't have any sympathy because they did his bidding. Then he didn't uh, consider to have family, the lives could be ruined, or finances. It was all about him, the game power. And during this time, even though Fonnie Willis is on, you know, on trial and they put her on trial, look how he she's been treated. How her father has come in and talked about the things that has happened in her life. You know, when they're trying to uh, say that uh, she's a bad person. Okay, well, she's made that mistake, and I'm quite sure she will learn from that mistake. But she, she didn't participate in the insurrection. Did oh she? no, basically, or even uh, call for an insurrection, right. or tried to say that the election was stolen. Right, basically, her character is being put on trial under the under the guidelines of character assassination. Do Bonnie Willis versus the predecessor? Do you think that? Uh, one is more goal focused for money, fame focus, power focus. That's the predecessor. That's the predecessor. Fonnie is about um, doing what's right for, for the Constitution. Do you think Fonnie has done a good job in Atlanta, Georgia? So as you know, that you've heard through her cases? To her cases so far, I'm not familiar with that. I don't know because I don't live in that community to say whether she did a good job or not because I don't live in Fulton County. Okay. But... Everything that we're basing our information on is basically what has come out in the media or what we've seen on trial. Mm -hmm. So we're just, you know, we're not doctors. No. You know, but what we can honestly say here today is that a lot of behaviors on this checklist is the things that we have lived in our life and we can identify mm -hmm. uh, with what Bonnie Willis is going through, uh, we can say, honestly, Kendall, would you like to say how many years of uh, behavior, these type of behaviors on this checklist that you have lived out? 40 plus. Bondale, how many years on this checklist have you lived out? 35. 35. And I can honestly say on this checklist, being surrounded in a community, uh, Relatives, family, friends, associates, co-workers. I can honestly say that I have lived out the majority of my life with behaviors like this. Now, there are people that are a legend in their own mind. And what happens is, right now, what we're seeing is finding his own trial. For the wrong reasons. And I don't really feel like she should be on trial. That's just my personal opinion. My personal opinion. But the bottom line is... We don't live in that community. We don't know the laws that's going on in Fulton County. But we do, we do know this. Through that checklist, the predecessor have totally uh, annihilated the checklist because everything that's on that list is based on... His behavior, which is intentional behavior. And this is the person that will run the country. Yep, that will possibly run the country and possibly get back in the White House. And that's what's so scary about this. Now, the real scary part about this is since all these accounts have come against him, let's say 
the predecessor to get back in the White House. It will be revenge it's, and retribution. It's, it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be um, a scorched earth policy. A <laughs> scorched earth policy, huh? All right. So we're going to close it out. We just wanted you to hear our checklist. And basically, uh, for as being a Bonnie Willis fan, like I said again, we, we're, we're not familiar with Bonnie Willis, no. but we are familiar with the checklist. We wanted to compare and contrast some of the behaviors of Bonnie Willis versus the predecessor because uh, we haven't seen the behaviors that Bonnie has. Only, the, only what has been showed up on the screen in the courtrooms what the information that has been brought out. And it appears that Bonnie doesn't have uh, a lot of things on the checklist. Maybe we are being biased. And I can honestly say not so much as being biased, but it is what you have lived. And if you've lived around certain people in certain communities, then you will have uh, this outlook. And it can give you a heads up to make sure that you look out for people that you don't surround yourself with that can tie you up and get you in trouble. Basically, when you live the school of hard, of hard knocks, you are the expert. You don't need to go to school for this. If you, you, know, if you lived it, you learned from it, you survived it. And you need to teach on it because people don't know, they need to know. They need to know and they need to step up and educate themselves. On that note, getting ready to close out, Wu, how do you think that the uh, Goldwater Rule uh, for back then has hurt uh, today? It has hurt in many ways because it's more like a cover-up. It's more like a protection racket for bad behavior. Uh, and, and not for accountability. And not for accountability. All right. So on that note, on our checklist... Fanny wins, hands down. And if we're biased, so be it. Facts are facts, Jack. You know, and the facts can change because one thing about uh, information, information change. And you don't get all of the information. I just, people just love to be discreet or discretion, which I think sometimes comes out to be a lie because you don't have all the information. But at the end, at this moment, in this time, Bonnie Willis wins this case. Hands down. Hands down. Not guilty. Not guilty. And she's not going to be running the country come 2024. And on that note, we are out.